Hello, and welcome to COIB's Meet the Author series. During this time, we'll visit with the authors of our latest edition of COIB's journal and find out firsthand from the authors about what they wrote and why they wrote it. I'm Olga Escamilla, and I'm the guest content editor for this professional development edition of the COIB journal and past chair of AALPD. I'm very excited to introduce the authors of the Lynx article, Marcella Movit and Sharice Moore with American Institute for Research. Sure, thanks, Olga. As you said, I am with the Lynx Project. I have the fortune to serve as the project director on Lynx for Octae. I'm also a principal TA consultant at the American Institutes for Research. First and foremost, I'm a practitioner. I've worked in adult education for nearly three decades in almost every role from an instructional assistant to a principal to a program director. And now I have the fortune to work with the field through the Lynx Project. And I'm excited to be here with my amazing colleague, Marcella Movit. I'm Marcella Movit. I am the deputy director of the Lynx Project. And again, I work for the American Institutes for Research. I've been in adult education for almost 20 years um, and working on some fantastic projects funded by Octave, but I have to say Lynx is by far my favorite. And we are two of the five authors, and I just want to make sure that we recognize them as well. I want to recognize Adria Katka, Michelle Perry, and Sudi Whalen who also contributed to this article. Thank you so much, Sharice and Marcella. So let's start off with our first question. Why did your group write this article? So we were really excited when we saw the call for articles for a journal around professional development. We thought that was a really natural fit for links. Links, which can be found at links.ed.gov, stands for the Literacy Information Communication System. And for those who don't know, it's an initiative of the U.S. Department of Education's Office of Career Technical and Adult Education. And Lynx really aims to expand evidence-based practice in the field of adult education. And our website, lynx.ed.gov, provides exceptional, high-quality, on-demand educational opportunities and professional development and training for practitioners of adult education. So we thought, again, that it was a really natural alignment to propose a Lynx article for the COAPE Journal. Lynx is dedicated to providing resources to adult educators through professional development. And we wanted the opportunity to really get to share what we do, how we do it, why we do it, and to make sure that the field is aware of links as a resource for professional development. So that's why we wrote the article. Thank you so much, Sharice. So how will adult education practitioners benefit from reading your article and how will that benefit their learners? That's a great question, Olga. Um, for those of us who have been in adult education for a really long time, um, you'll recognize that we often struggle to find things that are adult education specific. We can adapt things from K-12 or from higher education, but the resources for educators working in adult education are a lot harder to find if you're relying on search engines like Google, and especially if you're looking for something that's available at no cost. Uh, another thing was that although Lynx has been around for over 30 years, there are a lot of people who are still not familiar with all the incredible resources that are available through our federal initiative. And there are other people who maybe have heard of links, but they're not quite sure how to leverage the resources so that they can enhance their work, or maybe it's just been a while since they've visited links. Um, so this article was written really to raise awareness around what links is and how it can support those working in the field, and all with the goal of helping them to better serve their learners. Thank you so much, Marcella. I understand and appreciate the value of links, so because I have used this resource 
so many times. And in my role, in my current role, I do refer our programs to the website and the training because it is wonderful. So let's continue. And the next question I have for you is, what do you hope that readers will take away from this article? Thanks, Olga, again, and thank you for using and leveraging links and sharing the value and resources within links. What we really hope is that if links is new to a reader, that they will find the wealth of professional development opportunities and resources that are there to support them and their ongoing growth as adult educators. And we know that like you, there are many who are familiar with links. And for those readers, we hope that this article will be a reminder about the value of links, especially if they haven't accessed links for a while. We also hope that they will find some of the many new resources at links. New resources and opportunities for ongoing professional development are added to links every month, each and every month. So even if you think you know all that's available through links, it's time to go back. And we hope this article will inspire them to go back because there's always more at links. And then finally, we also hope that readers will take what they are learning from the article and share that with others, with their colleagues, and get them excited and engaged in the ongoing opportunities for adult education focused professional development that is offered at no cost. Thank you, Sharice. And you just reminded me of the notices that I get every day about the new content and new conversations that are occurring through links. And, and it's just, like you said, it's just exciting to, to have this resource and have all this wonderful information. So. Do you have any additional comments that you'd like to share? Um, so just before we wrap up, I wanted to just elaborate a little bit more. Um, I said at the beginning that Lynx is one of my favorite projects to work on. And one of my favorite things about working on the Lynx project really is sharing about it with others, uh, whether it's doing a conference presentation or writing an article like this. There's always this light bulb moment where you see somebody's eyes just light up and they say, I have no idea that this resource existed and I need that. It's just so reaffirming to me of how innovative this Octay initiative is, despite having been around for over 30 years. And it's comments like that, that encourage us to continue working to improve what's available through links and looking for new ways to really meet the field's needs. Again, as Cherie said, we really hope that reading the article will inspire people to explore what's there, to explore the resources, explore the professional development opportunities that are available through links, whether this is their first time or it's their hundredth time. Thank you so much, Marcella. And thank you to you, Sharice, and the additional authors of this piece. So I want to thank you all for your contributions to this edition. Again, to me, professional development is so near and dear to my heart, and I can hear that it is to you too in your efforts and all of the work that you put into providing this, the links site for our adult ed practitioners, as it is so important for our adult ed practitioners to be up to date and up to speed so that we can help our learners. So thank you all so much again for your contributions to adult ed and to the professional development edition of the COIB journal. With that, you can view the COIB journal and learn more about how to receive a copy at coab.org and clicking on the COIB journal link. So thank you so much. <music>